And just like magic, we've removed the Dyson DC-65 and switched it for a 1988 Kirby Heritage 2 Legend. And just to show you how some of this is set up, plus it's also at position three for the toe touch control. We've got a few different shims. Every vacuum is going to be a little on the different side. I've had some issues trying to run this thing with the brush roll on. It just tends to suck the carpet right up. So it kind of skews the test results. So if I can somehow get any kind of reasonable results, I'll show it here in a couple of minutes. If not, then you won't see it until I can figure out a way to get reasonable results. So what we've got going on here is this thing has so much CFM, the nozzle anyway, just kind of sucks the carpet up. And I guess ideally it would be good to cut a piece of carpet that fits the top of the airflow box and then glue it down almost, almost everywhere except for uh, where the nozzle would actually be. You could glue it down in the back. You could glue it down right here in the right here in the front a little bit. Not obviously right where it needs to have you know um, the, the hole cut in the box underneath. You want to have that be able to, to come up a little bit because that's how this machine works. So I still want to show you uh, very quickly or as quickly as I can how well this machine will do sucking air through a medium pile carpet. So if you remember the Dyson was right around the mid 20 CFM range. Let's see what this one does. Brush roll obviously off. 1830. We are at 47.8 CFM. So that's almost twice the airflow going through this carpet. Now remember, this has about half the suction of a DC 65, but it starts out with a ton more airflow, like 120. So because it doesn't have that suction force to keep that airflow moving, the airflow in here drops percentage-wise much more. But what you're left with, because it starts so high up, is a lot more. You ever wonder why that the Dyson, or most, if my bag, or almost all, except one bagless machine, can't pull much stuff through the carpet? It's because the airflow through the carpet is simply too low. You look at a machine like this that has a lot more airflow to start with, it loses a lot more, but the end result is quite a bit more. Quite a bit more. Almost double. All right, I guess I've had some luck with some pre-testing of this Heritage 2 Legend with the brush roll on. So uh, we'll give it a try and see what we can do. Um, now, it's really going to shake this carpet a lot, which is certainly going to um, mess up the results a little bit. But you can get a general idea of where you might be. And this is still set at position three. I tried a couple different positions, and this one still was the best for now. <laughs> So it's going to be less, mainly because the motor now has a load. And you can hear that. Let me turn this thing on. All right, so we're at 39.5, so just about 40 CFM. So a little bit of a difference from a Dyson, obviously, sitting around, I think, 26 with the brush roll on. But, you know, with Kirby's, you take the brush roll off, the motor's going to spin faster. You put the brush roll on and the uh, motor spins slower obviously so this might be more accurate than I give it credit for thanks for watching stay tuned for more